Hi, my name is Dave Dudley, and I'm here today to explain single stream recycling to your business. Many businesses today have adopted recycling programs to eliminate landfill cost and reuse raw materials that we trash every day. Reusing materials saves energy, reduces pollution, and saves landfill space for our future generations. With new sorting technologies today, businesses can mix recyclables in one can, then they're sorted at a processing facility. Today I'm going to show you what materials are accepted in this program and what happens to recyclables after they've been processed. Let's go inside. Did you know that recycling your waste is cheaper than putting it in a landfill? Every time your trash is taken to a landfill, a tipping fee or landfill fee is charged. Your trash hauler incorporates that fee into your monthly bill. Recycling centers charge a processing fee to sort, bale, and ship your waste, but there is often a rebate associated with that material type. These rebates allow us to charge our customers lower fees for the collection of recyclables, meaning the more your employees or customers recycle, the more you save. So how do you set up recycling in your business? How do you make sure people don't put trash in your recycling bin? Well, most businesses today have recycle stations like this one to educate their employees or customers on what is recyclable. All items are listed by category to help people associate their waste with a recycling category. All categories are combined in the end. But a recycling station is designed to educate and reduce contamination. Each recycling station or setup depends on the business configuration and the type of waste they generate. ACE can provide you with equipment, education, and any planning you may need. Now that we have our recycling design, let's decide which items to place in our bins. Unfortunately, not all items can be recycled with the single stream recycling program. This program targets businesses' most common items for remanufacture. The main categories this program accepts are cardboards, paper, metals, and plastics. Let's go through the most common items associated with these four categories. First of all, please remember not to use plastic bags for your recyclables. It slows the sorting process. Also, please rinse food off your products before discarding. Excessive food waste on recyclables can contaminate them in the recreation process. Our paper products include paper cups, food boxes, paper bags, magazines, and office paper. Metal products can be aluminum cans, tin foil, metal cans, examples of cardboard, light cardboard boxes, heavy cardboard boxes, plastic containers, plastic food containers, plastic cups and utensils, plastic bags, plastic baggies, and plastic bottles. Some products are combinations, like a newspaper with a plastic cover. These need to be separated, plastic and the newspaper. Other packaging like this pen box can be separated with plastic and paper both being recyclable. Now that you know more about single stream recycling, you're probably wondering what happens to the materials I recycle? Newspapers end up as insulation, egg cartons, paperboard, sheetrock, paper plates. Magazines end up as telephone books and newspaper. Cardboard ends up as paper bags, new cardboard, paperboard, and cardboard medium. Office paper ends up as facial tissue, new computer paper, napkins, and paper towels. Metal cans end up as bike parts, rebar, and new cans. Aluminum cans end up back on the shelf in 60 days. Plastics end up as carpet, backpacks, and sleeping bags. There are so many reasons to help our environment with responsible recycling. 
Single stream recycling targets the most common items in your business to be reproduced. If you wish to recycle items not included in this program, like electronics, food waste, glass, or wood, ACE can set your company up with a specific can for those products. The future of our society involves recycling, and ACE is happy to help you with any questions or services that you may need. Thank you for your interest and participation in ACE's recycling program. Because after all, at ACE Disposal, business is always picking up. Hello, my name is Lon Stalsberg, manager and owner of ACE Recycling and Disposal. I just wanted to take some time today to thank you for your interest in recycling and the efforts you're making to make Utah's future better. ACE hauls many of the recyclables throughout the valley through its commercial and residential customers. We've made important changes to our operations and our facilities to improve our carbon footprint. Today we run 10 natural gas vehicles and five years from now, two thirds of our fleet will be running on natural gas. At our new facility, we have put in a geothermal heat exchange system to provide us with sustainable energy and also to put in a zero-scape landscape design to conserve water. I started ACE 30 years ago, and 30 years from now, I hope we have continued to find better ways to manage pollution, conserve water, and produce efficient, sustainable energy. I want to thank you one more time for your interest in making Utah a better place to live and work. Thanks again.